come home with a box. It's complicated. I can take the plastic off and I love the new board game smell that comes wafting off of that box as you pull it open. You get to punch out a little cardboard. Now what? How do I turn this into a date? Okay. Well, it's, it's really not as easy as it sounds. And for those of you that don't do a lot of dating, you don't understand another person's needs very quickly and easily, this can be quite daunting. So, I hope you've looked at the, all the things I talked about earlier in regards to what the, the numerical weights for this game are. Simple, it simply said, look at the numbers, fours out of fives, ones out of fives, figure out what your partner likes, and we can get to that in a second or two, and use it to pick your game. But once you have the game, the, the job's not over, okay? Yeah, it's like sex. There are quickies, and there are nicely prepared nights, and then there's those really special nights that happen every so often, and you put a lot of time into them, and they help the whole relationship physically keep going and keep people nicely connected to each other. Board games are the same way. So to run this one simply, you're just going to run it right out of the box, uh, sitting down somewhere nice and make sure that one or two extra comforts are provided for, for the other person and for yourself. And you're probably going to nail it with that. Uh, then you're going to want to, every now and then, uh, spice it up by doubling it. You're going to want to go for your sort of middle of, of the road sort of, of board game night date. And so what you're looking for that is you're going to want to probably add music and possibly a meal pairing of some sort. Um, this game a little on the battleshipy side with some really nice social elements. So it'll fit into most nights. I would still suggest a snack and I would go with something small and something that, that's sort of hand sized. Uh, nothing with terribly, terribly sticky fingers because there is some manipulating of the pieces and a lot of this is really, really hard to get into plastic if you're going to play it over and over and over and over again, which I do. Not everybody does and you don't have to. Um, but if you take good care of your games and it turns into something that you really, really like, there's a wonderful feeling about opening the same box over and over again and you know, seeing all the bits and pieces and where you wrote your name and your partner's name inside the box. The, the, the game itself becomes a bit of an artifact of the relationship and it can be a piece that starts to mean something. When you're not getting along, you can just present the box and say, hey, let's just go play a game. I know we're not getting along. I know we're struggling like crazy right now. This we can do well. Let's go do something we do well, and then we'll talk about some of the stuff we don't do well so, a little later. So please try to take care of your games. If, if you can't take care of your games, at least as well you take care of your relationship. Or your relationship as well you take care of your games, it might be one of the reasons it's starting to get a little worn around the corners and looking like it might not make it to the end. Be careful, guys, with the things that are important to you. Sound fair? Cool. I'm going to stop nagging people to uh, take care of their games. Okay, people. So how do I build this thing into a medium sized date? I would always go with a meal pairing on that. Uh, I would always make sure that there was at least some music. And uh, on our website here, we're gonna be providing a, a short uh, playlist uh, that you can access to run alongside this game. It'll be about hmm, seven to 12 songs uh, in length and uh, it should pair up really nicely. It, it won't overwhelm because one of the things you want to know about music is that if the game has talking and there is time to communicate, you want some kind of music that, or you want music that is not going to obliterate what you and your partner could talk about because that's not helpful. You want the game to shine for what it is. So this game, something light. Uh, I hope you like what, what we've picked out at Games and Couples, and I hope it pairs up really, really nicely. Uh, make sure to check your technology ahead of time. Uh, it, it really, really ruins the, the mood and the, uh, if when the game starts to, or the music starts to cut in and out and flake out. Uh, so it is worth making sure that you have a good, clean connection and that you have as few things running as possible. Because honestly, guys, the game and the time together should be the most important thing. Okay, another thing we have coming for Codenames Duet, and we'll be posting a recipe for that shortly, is we're going to do some martini glass dipping sauces uh, that are shaken not stirred, that pair up really, really nicely with this game, and some nice dipping uh, treat, and probably a nice um, bomb-shaped muffin. <laughs>